Um, well, with Manchester United, what, what's happening in their pursuit of Rafael Varane, first of all? Yeah, look, there's so much um, activity on social media just now that mm. um, it's very close, it's imminent. Some people are saying it's not so close, it's not so imminent. The information that I've got, and this is the only information I've got, is that there's been no agreement yet mm -hmm. between Manchester United and Rafael Varane's representatives over personal terms. But talks are continuing over those. Talks are positive over those, but as yet, no agreement. And only when an agreement is reached between United and Varane's representatives will United then go to Real Madrid to try and negotiate a fee for Rafael Varane. The buzzwords that I've been told and continue to be told with regard to this deal is cautious but hopeful. Cautious because Manchester United do not want to be in a position where they're used as a vehicle, I've said this before, mm. rather like they did with Sergio Ramos back in 2015 when they were given quite a lot of encouragement that Ramos would come yeah. and in the end he signed a new contract at Real Madrid. I think this one is slightly different because the, the noises coming out of Spain suggest that Rafael Varane would welcome a move to Manchester United. So we're still at that stage where United are talking to their representatives before they talk to Real Madrid. Now, people will ask why they're doing it that way, because mm -hmm. normally you have to agree a fee with the club first before you agree personal terms. Well, United have been given permission to talk to Varane's representatives. And I've been looking at why this might have been the case. Look, Varane's only got a year left on his contract. Mm. So if United and Real Madrid are to strike a deal, they don't want it dragging on because Real Madrid will want to get the money in to bring in a replacement. Now, if they were to do it the other way around, that could drag on with regard to trying to get a fee sorted right. out. And then once that's done, then the personal terms would have to get done. So I think they're trying to get the personal ter terms well, done as early yeah. as possible so that when United agree the deal with Real Madrid, it will accelerate very, very quickly into that transfer from Real Madrid to Manchester United. But by the sounds of it, look, it could accelerate quickly, but... To me, it still seems like there is quite a bit of work to be done. Not so much work to be done with regard to Jadon Sancho, of course. Um, Manchester United's manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, said yesterday that the final paperwork was being processed before that announcement is made. We're thinking that an official announcement will happen at some point this week. Sancho has taken his medical and he's currently on holiday. So... Um, that will probably be announced while he's on holiday. So those, that's the kind of the, the sticking point, I guess, there, those little personal terms that kind of they're trying to tie. I think everything is more or less done. I don't okay. think this is anything to worry about. Still I don't on think holiday there's, and... there, there's no problem. <laughs> he's, he's done all of the things he needs to do yeah. and his representatives need to do. I think it's just final paperwork between the clubs. OK. And then the deal will be officially ratified and announced by Manchester United and Dortmund.